And now the keynote speech. Tonight is a great pleasure. We have a very young woman here with us, an Italian excellence, exported abroad, full professor at Harvard. Harvard. She's written over a hundred publications internationally. She's also editor in chief of Organizational Behavior in Human Decision Process, one of the most important scientific uh, journals uh, about management. She's part of the editorial board of many important journals. She has received many awards for teaching and research. In 2015, uh, boards and counts included them in their thoughts under 40. The group of best business school teachers all around the world, younger than 40. And in 2017, uh, she was included in the Fingers 50 list, featuring the 50 uh, most influential um, scholars of management. And she's the mother, a mother of three. Now let's welcome Francesca Gino. Thank you. La potete osservare lì now. It is such an honor and pleasure to have the opportunity to be here with you. I'm going to speak English. I've been in the U.S. for 18 years, and my English sounds bad, but my Italian is even worse. I'm going to tell you why I labeled this little speech Rebel. It comes from a title of a book that I published recently called The Rebel Talent, Why It Pays to Break the Rules at Work and in Life. And as I'm looking at you today, I see a lot of rebel talent in here. When we think of rebels in business, we tend to have a very fixed ideas of people like visionary Steve Jobs, people who are very creative, but the stories go also people who are difficult to work with or people you don't want to have as a boss or as an employee or as a colleague. And I wrote the book to shift the thinking around who the rebels are. Rebels are people like you, people who are full of talent, people who are going to break the rules, hopefully, but in a constructive way, in a positive way. When I think of rebels, I think of people like Captain Sally Salenberger. You're probably very familiar with this person. He's the captain who ditched a plane in a cold evening in 2009 in the Hudson River. And when I had the chance to speak to him, I was curious to hear how he could make such a big decision in 208 seconds. That's the time that he had when he discovered that he had no thrust in the engines and the time where he landed the plane in the Hudson River outside of New York. This is a guy who, rather than going for the obvious answer, he kept his mind open. If you were to read the accident report of that accident, he considered all sorts of options. And when I talked to him, I learned that he had tons of experience. More than 30,000 hours of flying, he served as a volunteer in all sorts of accidents, so he knew a lot about what goes wrong on planes. And yet, every time he walked into a plane, he would ask himself the question, what could I learn here? So, in looking at all of you, the hope that I have, and it's a big hope, is that despite the experience that you already have and that you're going to gain going forward, is that you're going to have the same type of intellectual humility. Always looking at the world with curiosity. Always looking at the world with multiple perspectives rather than just your own. That's what rebels do. I'm also particularly feeling particularly proud to be here because one of the examples that really inspired the book is an Italian leader. He is the chef and owner of a Michelin star restaurant, three Michelin star restaurant in Modena, Osteria Francescana, the restaurant that was nominated the best restaurant in the world in 2016 and then again in 2018. And what is really powerful about his story is that he went into a context where you're really not supposed to mess with traditions. If you know anything about Italians, and you probably well do, you don't break rules when it comes to cooking. We cherish our old ways. And he did just that. He went, he studied traditional recipes very carefully, and then he reinvented them. He had the humility of going and studying what was there carefully, but he was also curious and asked question, why is it that we do things this way? It might have made sense 20 years ago or 30 years ago, but it doesn't make sense now. So I'm leaving you with this big hope 
that you're all going to embrace your talents like the rebels do, that you're going to stay curious, always thinking about not what you know, but what's left to learn, and that you're going to have that humility and courage to break the rules when rules are holding you and others back. And I'm also hoping, since you're all masters, that you're going to help others do the same. Congratulations. I think this is a big night for all of you, a big achievement. And I am hope that you're going to use what you learn to help yourself and others do better in business. Thank you, and good luck. Grazie, Francesca Gino. Thank you, Francesca Gini. Tonight, every student will receive a copy of the book Rebel Talent. So we will put uh, uh, what you said into practice uh, within a short uh, period of time. And tomorrow, uh, Francesca will hold the speech at Villa Guasavilani, and her speech will be much longer than tonight. So one. Uh, more reason not to miss uh, tomorrow's event.